Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Max Wayne coming your way, and we're going to go right into scriptures today. We're going to go into the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 17. And uh, this is going to be dealing with what defiles a man or what defiles a woman. Amen. Or let's better say it this way what defiles the human family, okay? What defies the human family? Jesus was talking to his disciples in the book of Matthew, and uh, it will be record recorded that uh, 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 he was confronted by uh, some of the strabs and or Pharisee, either or, and they and they asked Jesus a question. Why eateth thou disciples? And they haven't washed their hands. And at that time there, uh, these uh, men of God, you know, uh, the Pharisees and the scribes, you know, uh, they were Jewish, uh, of the Jewish uh, faith, amen. And they asked Jesus, you know, why is it that your disciples don't wash their hands and Wash the bowls and wash the silver before they eat before God. You know, giving God homage or, you know, praise or honor, you know. And Jesus said that, uh, you know, what are you talking about? So many words. I'm just nerd, uh, 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 paraphrasing it. So many words. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? And he basically told them that what, that which entered to a man, uh, that does not defile a man or a woman. He said, but that which come out of the man or woman, that was defiled, the man. And the disciples got kind of perturbed by that saying, and some of them disassociate themselves with Jesus. And um, at that time, and, uh, in other scriptures of the, uh, 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 the, uh, the gospel of uh, Matthew and Mark and John, you are flying out where by they not only disassociate themselves, but they start hanging around them for a minute. And uh, so when they did get back together or whatever, they asked Jesus, say, uh, what kind of sin is that? You know, that which defiles a man come from within and not that which goes into the body, the man or the woman, you know, the body. And Jesus explained it to them. He said, he said, that which a man eateth, that what goes in his mouth, it comes, it goes in into the body, and it comes out, you know, in the draw. And draw will consider a place that we can know we can better say today, uh, uh, the bathroom, when you have to go and, and uh, uh, use the bathroom, you know, relieve yourself. He was saying that what defile, that does not defile a man, that which goes in his mouth, because it comes out. You know what I mean? He said, but that which is in the man's heart, that come out of his heart, that which come out the real man. See, see, and that's what Jesus was trying, just what Jesus was telling them, that the outward appearance of man, kind, has nothing to do, you see, with what's in his heart or what's in her heart. It's what's in their heart. That determines whether it is that which is in your heart defiled or is it undefiled. In other words, is it good or is it bad? You see, is it like waste that need to come from out of the body, or is it like nutrient that goes into the body? See, and it preserved to give strength and sustenance, you know, to the body, the function of the body. See, so Jesus, Jesus didn't go through all that. I mean, I'm just telling you to make you help you understand uh, where 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 this is going at. And uh, Jesus began to uh, tell them some of the things that that was in mankind that defiled uh, man. In other words, this is the real substance that's in man that defiles man, mankind. You see, and we know that uh, 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 that was defiles the, the the that was defiles 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 man. We know that. That, that is not a, a, acceptable to God. It's not pleasing to God. That's why God 
came to cleanse man. To cleanse man what? Within his, within the body, within himself. The spirit, the real part of man, we call the spirit man. That had been defiled. See? And I can go on and on and on and on, but I don't I don't want to carry you way back right now. I want to carry you from, from, from this point here going forward. That was defiled the human being. That was defiled the man, but that's what's on the inside of man. So let's find out what Jesus is talking about when he said that which defiles a person is only from the inside, not that which goes in his mouth. Because he haven't cleaned his bowl, he haven't cleaned his utensils and so forth and so on. And he put high regards in that. See, to say that, hey, if I don't clean these things, if I don't uh, uh, respect, regard these things above and beyond, I'm gonna be defiled, you know what I mean? You know, I can catch this, I can get this or whatever, see. But Jesus saying the true thing that defiles a person is come, come, out, come, come from within. So I'm going to turn to uh, Matthew 15, chapter 17. You got the Bible, you can go ahead and read it. Uh, okay, 17 says, Do not ye understand that whatsoever enter, enter in at the mouth goes into the belly, and is cast out into the draw. Okay, I, I just told you that. That which goes into the mouth, it goes into the belly, belly and it enters out what? Uh, like going to the bathroom. Okay? See? Now mind you now that which goes in the body, what happens is a process that the body carries that which goes into the body as far as eating wise. You see what I'm saying? It goes to the body, it breaks down your food and everything and get the nutrients out of that. And once it get the nutrients out of that, all that which is not needed for the body comes out of the draw. It comes out into the draw. Okay? See, so Jesus telling us that, don't you know that? You see? Don't you know that? That's what goes in, it comes out. You see what I'm saying? And then he goes on to uh, verse, verse 18. He said, but those things, things, that mean more than one, more than one thing, those things which proceed, come forth out of the mouth, come forth from the heart. There's a scripture that says, uh, 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 the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. If you ever want to know what's in a man's or a woman or anybody's heart, all you got to do is just let them talk. And if you let them talk long enough, you begin to understand what's really in their heart. And the heart is... The, the, the main control, the central uh, part of man, see, as a spirit that keeps man uh, as the true part of, of him or of mankind. So we are tripod, we are spirit, body, and soul, okay? What makes us a soul, remember I told you, what makes us a soul when God molded man out of the dust and he breathed into man the breath of life and then only man became a living soul, see? So that's what makes us a soul. When we have the breath of life into the clay or the dust that God made out, made man from, see? And when man ceased to be, uh, cease, when man ceased from being a living soul, then that process is reversed. The body goes back to where? Where it come from, the dirt. The spirit of life goes back to whom? To God, where that come from. You see what I'm saying? Also, there's a scripture in the Bible that also said the soul that sinneth against me shall die. You see what I'm saying? Only God can kill or destroy the soul. The devil cannot destroy the soul. That is reserved for God only. What is the soul again? It's the dirt and the breath of life, see, that is in man, that God put in man, that made man what? A living soul. When does a man uh, uh, cease being a living soul? When that breath of life go back to God and, and that physical clay or that soup, however you want to phrase it, go back to the dirt. Now there's a mystery there in the gap between all of that. In the gap there, there's a report that God keeps, and however he keeps it, that's between God, how he does that. But we know by his word that he keeps that report of everything that you have done while you were down here in this body. 
and with the flesh and with the spirit of God in that body as a living soul, he what? He have recorded all of that. See what I'm saying? If you started out bad and you ended up good and you went to the grave, then God is just going to what? He's going to recognize the good that you've done. But if you started out good and you end up with bad and you go to the grave, then God is going to recall and, and, and what? And keep that which you have, that, uh, 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 that bad that you have done. You see what I'm saying? You see? see? And the only way that can happen is when one change their, while they are soul, living soul, once one change their, their, their perspective of life, of living, like these things that I'm going to tell you about that's come from out there without God being in their life. See, the only way that can happen is when you allow God to come into your life and get those things out of you that defile what? That defile us, defile us. See, because the soul that sent us against God shall die. See, see? The devil can't even take your life unless he get permission from God first. You see? And then you decease or, or what we call decease or die or go to the grave. You see what I'm saying? See? See? God had control of all of that. You know? But during, the, during that time, what God would do, he is trying to get to us now while we have the opportunity to change, while we're still alive as a soul. It got to be done now. It, it, you can't wait until you're in the grave and the spirit go back to God. No, no. It doesn't work that way. It has to be done while you are a living soul right now. See? Because you became a sinner. See? While you were in that, that, uh, that, uh, 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 that state, that, that state of living soul. So you, it's only fair and right that you have to become a, a righteous person in God. In that state. That living soul state. See what I'm saying? So that's why the preaching of the gospel is going out through all the land. While people are still have what? As a living soul. So God can change them now. Because once you are in the grave or beyond the grave, there's no help from God. That's it. It's over with. It's over with. That is the preaching of the gospel. See, I'm, I'm still with this right here. What the father man? I ain't going nowhere. See what I'm saying? See? But understand this right here. That's the reason why the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because it's a thing that has to be done from within our spirit, our living soul. See? And you're going to find out it's more than just running up here and preaching God's word. No, it, it goes deep and wide within you first and first and foremost. Something on the inside have to change. Something on the inside have to change uh, in everyone that comes to God. See? See? We think we can train ourselves to be good. No, 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 no. You can't train yourself to be good. I understand the Bible say what? If you train up a child in a way it should go and never what? It will never part or never whatever, whatever. I understand that. See? But we have lost sight of that kind of train, training that God uh, institute. See? See? There are many definitions for many words. But sometimes we are out of sync with the proper definition of certain words because we are using it improperly. I have done that many a time. And I ain't going to say I ain't going to continue to do that. I hope not. But I'm working on it with the help of God. See, so when you talk about training, there's two, there's a flip side to everything. See? See? Why? Because there's a head and there's a tail. Who's the head? God the tail. I'm God the head. I'm sorry. Who's the tail? Satan. You see? So if I use that word train, I got to understand the definition that God means when he said train up your child in the way, the way, the way it shall go. Not what he sees or she sees around here. No, it's the way that they shall go. How will you train up a child in the way that it shall go? By the word of God. You see what I'm saying? So that part of training, 
we have to what? Have to come by what? By being in touch, in tune with the word of God. You see what I'm saying? You have to have a desire to want God, the word in your life, so it can what? Change you from within. And if it changes you from within, then it will bear the fruits that come from God, huh? On, on the outside. See? Jesus said what? He said, pray ye one for another. You were talking to a disciple. He said, if you do that, then the heathen and everybody else will know what? That you are what? My disciple. Why? Because that show love one towards the other. You see? But we have those that have been trained but have not been trained up in the word of God. We've been trained by ourselves. I trained myself to not sin. I trained myself to not get tempted. I trained my, see it's always I train, you train. No, but has God trained you? See when God trains you, then it will come to, come to fruition what Jesus is saying here. What, what is he saying? He said, but those things which proceed, which come out, See, those things which come out of the mouth come forth from the heart. And they and they defile the man. You see what I'm saying? See? That what really defiles a person. You see what I'm saying? Not when you're trying to train yourself to, to go this, no, no, no. You still got the other stuff in you, and it takes the training of the power of God by his word to get you to do what God says. See? See? Now what we got here, we got the stuff that look, we got people that look good on the outside. See, but because they haven't been trained on the inside by God, by this from the from that evil wicked spirit, you see what I'm saying? All they is current just to being look good on the outside. But all you got to do is let them sit and talk for a while, and out of their mouth you'll find all that filth and all that defiledness that coming out of their mouth. And you'll determine, huh? Who or she, who or he really is or really are. See? See? But Jesus was trying to jog their mind. He said, look, let me tell you something. He said, look. He said, that which defiles a person is what come out of their heart. All you got to find out, all you got to do is just watch and look and see. See what's coming out of their heart. See what come out of the real them. And the real them is what? It's on the inside. That spirit part of them. See? See? Now let's see what comes on it come from within. See? See? Let's see what comes from within. For out of the heart, out of the out of the, the whole central control part of mankind or humankind, out of the heart. See? 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 Without having God in your life, out of the heart, Jesus said, he said, comes evil thoughts. Do you have evil thoughts? See? But you look at one of them pretty graves. Just been what? Dug. Flowers on it. Long care. Manicure long care. Looks so beautiful. But on the inside, when you dig that grave up, ain't nothing but what? Ravishing and, 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 and what? Riding bones. Worms eating the corpse. The skin done what? Dissipate or just what? Fall off, fell off the bone. Well for good for nothing. But on the outside that gray looks so see that's what he trying to that's what he did not trying. That's what he described us in some part of the scripture here about you know uh Pharisees and Sadducees, you just like what? A beautiful grave. A beautiful, a sup, sup, uh, what is, uh, well, gray, let's say gray or tomb, whatever, okay. Supperture, supperture. You like a beautiful gray. But inside, but if you go inside, you, it's just like a number of dead men bone. Ain't nothing in it. It's dead. See? So Jesus saying here, he said, evil thought. Do you have evil thoughts? What is an evil thought? What is an evil thought? So if there's an evil thought, there got to be what? A good thought. See, it's always the flip side. It's a head and a tail. I don't care how you look at it. See? See? If there's a if there's an evil thought, there gotta be a, a good thought. See? So Jesus is telling them, say, what's on the inside comes out. Huh? 
from the heart. Such as what? Evil thoughts. You see? I don't like her, or I don't like him. I don't like to do that. I don't, oh, you know, have you ever find out, found out that every time you say that you are in uh, a disagreement with anything or everything that, that, that you, that, that, that when you're not going back this right here, it always comes with an I, 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 I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? See, but let's find out something else what Jesus was talking about. He said evil thought. And then he says, murderers, murderers. What comes out the heart? Murderers. See? He got people out here that will, that will murder you. Huh? And there are more ways to murder someone. Oh, cutting it with a, cutting, cutting it throat or shoot them. That's, that's a quick way there, but there's more ways to murder. You can murder somebody within your heart and not have to touch them. Don't have to touch them physically. See? It still goes on the what? Evil thoughts. You got people that murder people all day long in their heart. See? And eventually, it comes out what? Out of their mouth. They need, you, they need to be dead. Need to kill them. Get them out of here. We don't want them here. Huh? The whites and the blacks, the red, the yellow, and the brown, the five major colors of the human family, talking about each other. And ain't nobody made nobody, not no one made nobody. God made us all. See, evil thought, murderer, huh? The Republicans, the Democrats, whoever it was, when they had this thing coming, full force, the coronavirus. Huh? A lot of murder, a murdering was going on. Have y'all forgotten that so quickly? Huh? Look at the thing that came out of their mouths. All of them, whether it was Republicans or Democrats or whatever. See, that's what happened when you are what? You are what? Unsaved. What do I mean by unsaved? You, you have not allowed the, the truth and the power of God to reign in your mortal body, in your spirit, you see? But you have allowed someone else. And who is that someone else? It's Satan, Lucifer, the fallen angel. Now, a lot of y'all might say, well, I don't believe in the devil. Well, you know, all you got to do is look in the mirror, <laughs> you see one. If you ain't in God, you'll see one firsthand. Evil thoughts, murdering. How many people could have, uh, uh, been, how many deaths could have been avoided had, had the president, prior president, and the Republican Party and everybody else was on their job? Do the statistics. See? Hmm? How many? If these so called men and women of God, whether it's progressive or conservative, don't make no difference. If you didn't have the word of God in your life leading and controlling your 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 uh, your decision, how many of you all didn't go and do what you were supposed to do of God, from God, towards the masses of people that was dying four years, two or three years ago? Huh? But you set back. Yeah, God, you, you sat back and you said, yeah, God is, God is exterminating all these foreigners. God is exterminating all these blacks. He's getting them out of the way. But the pay hey, is backfire because if you look at it, if you, if, if, if you tell true statistics, true statistics, see, by your standard that you use for everybody else, you will find out it was more of what and less of the other that went to the grave on this coronavirus. See? See, and we black, some of us black so gullible, gullible, yeah, gullible, gullible. Other way, we so, we so weak and we believe everything that everybody tell us, gullible. See, we believe anything that the white man tell us. You see what I'm saying? 
They came out and said, we were, uh, it's proportional. I know we, we dying more than anybody else. That's a lie, and that's from the piss of hell. Not that I'm glad or, or anybody dying. But what I'm saying, when you set yourself up to fall, you're going to fall. Sisters and brothers, look all over the world. You see what I'm saying? People down all over the world. It weren't all old black folks in this country. It weren't all black folks. Where did that lie come from? And then they come out with all these virus and all this stuff. And then what, the first thing they say, what they say? You got to take it. You got to take it. The same person that told you a lie, they coming back and tell you another story now. And you got to, and, 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 you, and, you, and what do you do? You believe them. And the way world, more people have been lying to me for nine, nine out of ten times. And then all of a sudden you come back with one thing and you can say, look, this is the truth. You got to be out your mind, brother. Huh? You got to eat a whole cow to know that you're eating beef. <laughs> I mean, hey, see. So here we got here once again. Here we got here. What, what do we have here? We have here frauds, murderers coming out of the heart. A daughter, a daughter, what's it? A daughters, a daughterers? Yeah, a daughterers. You know what that is, don't you? You know what a daughter is? Huh? It's when you commit adultery. You marry. Huh? Your body belongs to your husband. Your husband's body belongs to his wife. You see? When you don't carry the spirit of truth within you, then you fall for prey to the devil for this right here. See? So you think your body belongs to everybody, but you are married. See, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. See? And what goes for the goose, go for, what goes for the gander, go for the goose. In other words, what goes for the woman, it goes for the man, what goes for the man, go for the, the woman. You see? So these are some of the things that come from out, come from within. All right, hold on. And then we got, uh, and then we got, uh, fornication. What is fornication? Fornication is that when you go and you, uh, you, uh, uh commit a relationship that is not a sanctioned by God. A relationship of a man and a woman doing what a marriage man and a woman would do. You have not been sanctioned, but in other words, you have not been married to that person. And when you are married to a person, it comes with responsibility and accountability to that person. You see what I'm saying? See? And there are some more choice words that can be used uh, in, uh, 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 within this line here of fornication. And I think we've grown enough to know what those words are. Okay. And it said, uh, Steph, Steph, the Lord said what? He said, whatever you attain, attain it honestly. You ain't got to go out there and rob nobody, kill nobody. Come on. Work, attain it honestly. You don't have to sell drugs. You don't have to do all, none of those things, but do the right thing, the good thing. And I guarantee you have a better life. I know, I've been there, done that. All right, let's, let's follow some there. All right. False witness. You know, it said that we shouldn't lie. You know what I mean? It's hard, it's, it, it's, it's a bad thing when you tell or allow someone and you know that you have just lied on that person. See, these are the things that come from within, you see? You see, it did not come from God. It came from the, the Satan, and he's a spirit, see? And when we are not following, follow, when we are not following truth, righteousness, and holiness, then we lead, we set ourselves up for what? For evil, wickedness, and everything else. Simple as that. You see? All right. Let's see what else. When it said uh, blasphemy, what what is blasphemy? 
blasphemy. See? You know, we hear a lot of things about how you how people blaspheme God. You know. See, see, you know you're getting into a spiritual arena here when you're talking about blas blasphemy and things of that nature there. You see. And people does that. People blaspheme people. You see? For serving God. And what they and what they, what they really doing, they really blaspheme or blaspheming God. You see what I'm saying? All this stuff is with him. See? So all we need to do is allow God to what? To clean us up. That's all we have to do. That's what God is here for, to clean us up. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not time to uh, 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 cut the cake now, eat the ice cream now. It's, it's not time for the, 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 uh, you know, to say, okay, we are made in there, we're here now. No, no, it's not time for that right now. It's not time to celebrate. And that day, God said what? He said he will have a marriage. The marriage of the bride and the bridegroom. The church is the what? It's the bride. The bridegroom is whom? Jesus, his son, the Christ. And he said, and that day, he will bring that two together. And there's time for us. See? See? And we be what? We be those that are invited to the party or the marriage. And then we can celebrate. Oh, hallelujah. What? what it'll be a wonderful day. So I just want you to keep in mind that there's a cleaning process going on within the human family, see, and the people of God, and even those that have been drawn by God, see, by the power of God that work as well in the willing vessels that serve God, see. see? So it's, it's, we got to keep up, we got to keep it going. Got to keep it going. It's all about cleanse, cleansing our soul. See? See? And then God said, too, and I'm going to let you go. God said what? He said, fear, don't fear them or don't fear the devil that has something to do with killing the body. And he can't even do that until he asks permission of it. He said, but rather fear him, which is God Almighty, that is able to kill the body and soul. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? The body and soul. You see? The body means what? The suit in which we live in. The soul, the soul means what? The suit with the breath of life where they're in. It's considered the human soul or the soul. See? See? So when that human no, when that spirit of God goes back to where it came from, man ceased to be, or mankind ceased to be what? A living soul. Only thing standing is what? It's the suit that the spirit of God was housed therein. See? And that going back to the dirt. And then that ceased to be what? A body. It go back to the dirt. See what I'm saying? But I'm going to throw this at you before I leave. Between the body, between the body and the spirit of life, which is God, that goes back to him, there's also a soul that was created, see, on the premise that that's the real you, but the spirit of God was still in that body to reserve and to keep, see, that spirit part that will be created and come up to accountability and responsibility in doing that what is good and right. You see what I'm saying? But that part which is you, see, because of Adam and Eve sin, that part which you came from them. See? And it was weakened by the sin that they did. And therefore, that spiritual DNA was right there. See, in that same, in this body here, with the spirit of life, which is from God. You see? And the body. 
see, it will weaken. And the enemy on the outside became on the inside as that spirit part of the real youth began to take shape and grow. You see what I'm saying? But the spirit of life, the spirit of God, was still there in the body as well. So that out, that outsider will not do all that it would do to destroy you and take away your birthright in Jesus Christ. And that's a mystery. See? But see, we have to understand that we were made by a creator. See? And God made us in such of a unique way. He didn't make us like the angels. He made us such a, 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 such a unique way. We were able to create our own spirit. We were given, given that from God, create our own spirit. But because of sin, the spirit that we created were tarnished and tainted. What? By that spiritual line from Adam and Eve because they listened to the enemy and therefore left that door open for the enemy to come in and what? And affect everything that came from them. See? See? And that's why we are sinners. But that Spirit of God right there to change all of that to make us what? Put us right back where we were before sin even came in. Can you understand that? I hope you can understand it. You see what I'm saying? You see? So when the breath of life, the power of God, that part right there with all, all, with all the uh, ingredients already there in, when that go back to God, it goes back to God with that, with that memory. With that memory. You see? And the flesh go back to the dirt. But where that spirit that you yourself had something to do with, to be the real you, it's a mystery. But that's why God said what? Reverence him that can kill the body and soul. You see what I'm saying? See? God can kill it. And that's what's gonna be that's what is gonna be dead away with when he comes. Somehow everything gonna be activated. See, that part of the real you, everything will be activated. You see, and based on how you how you die, will determine whether you your whether that body would be a would be a, a, a most more glorious body. I mean, what a righteous body would never die, or whether that body would be a body that be red, that would be uh, uh, that would be uh, set aside for the lake of fire to burn up. Well, thank you very much. God bless you and keep you. And may heaven smile upon you. Thank you.